three foot. Right. On the third, it will be five minutes. Yes. So soon. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this game starting out with uh, um, with Ark's traditional, you know, Mega Man zoning. And the thing about this is that I feel this naturally favors Lucina in that uh, the Fire Emblem sorties typically want to play at that mid-range that I feel Mega Man wants to keep at to get his setups, to get his obnoxious, like, uh, lemon pressure, pellet pressure, etc. Um, so you might see King Arc trying to go a little bit heavier in so he's a better chance of winning against disjoints, but that also means that he has to get in on E, and Mega Man doesn't have the greatest tools for getting his way in, although Leaf Shield is a great option. Leaf Shield is great, but not in this role as one size fits all as it used to be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's still good. It's definitely not abusable either because if it fails, uh, if it's not a punish situation with Leaf Shield, it is automatically E's turn. Um, and he... Just like there. Yes. If King Ark does not retreat, um, Ooh, then he... nice yes. Crash Bomber mixes too. Yep. So that was a good uh, follow-up right there, trying to get him with the down air, but slightly mistimes it, which is unfortunate. Pop quiz, what's down air called? Um, Meteor Knuckle, I think. Hard Knuckle. Hard Knuckle. And speaking of hard... Ooh. We get the shield break on stream. So this comeback is going to be hard. Real talk, uh, if E wants to play this spacing and... Oh, he's going to lose patience before uh, mystery. Uh, if Ark wants to win this by spacing, he probably won't. He's, he's going to run out of patience before uh, E does. Mm -hmm. And even if he plays this super patient, he's got three stocks to go through, two stocks, two to, stocks go through. to go through. Yep. Uh, two stocks to go through. Uh, where it's very difficult not to trade or lose trades against uh, such a solid disjoint as Lucina's. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, And that's sort of the percent that you can't really take with this because Lucina is not so much of a kill setup character. She kind of just gets the she straight She whittles hit. you down and then gets you. Mm -hmm. All right. A solid. lot of uh, kill moves being thrown out. Mm -hmm. uh, you see Ark's definitely looking. As I said, he's not going to win with patience. He's going to win with decisive hard reads. All right, and see. he's looking for him. So that's it right there. On Leaf Shield on Shield like that, when he releases, it's sort of a mix-up, not really. Um, and then if he releases it in his face, it's a punish. If he jumps away, he escapes a punish, but it's E's turn, and he's at the range Ooh, that he doesn't want to be in. Ark looking for the ledge trump back here, which might have killed. Uh, at this percent? Damn. I wouldn't be surprised, though. I could believe it. All right, nice. Not going to do it. Maybe up smash would have been a better choice for damage output. Maybe. All right, good follow-up on the up air. All right, early up he will do it. Uh, can he come back for that? No, he didn't even have his jump. That's unfortunate. But again, very difficult to come back, but King Arc making it look like he definitely had a good chance on that Can one. we see that shield break? <laughs> uh, no, na uh, yes, it was. Yes. So that's, that's a difficult scenario. When you have your shield down like that, I think minimum charge uh, shield breaker does like 65-70% of your shield off top. So there's no way he could have reacted to that. He, he would have had to know, and that was a mix-up at that point between you're going to eat a free hit or you're going to lose your shield. The shield breaker comes out around frame 20, so I think he could have reacted. Hmm. All right, let's see what's up. Interesting sh stage pick right. for uh, King Mark. Yeah. Um, Platforms definitely help him with, uh, I know he likes this stage because it's a good platform height for his up airs. Mm -hmm. Feel that? Good punish out of shield. I'm surprised he got that pickup. Um, I, one think, thing oh, I think King Ark is staying too close to the ledge uh, when he's ledge guard. I think his choices are like, see, now he's already adapted. Mm -hmm. He's trying to put it out a little farther, which is a good call. Lucina, uh, jump up fair, jump up nair from the ledge in itself is already a good like, mix-up on shield that's hard for some characters to punish. Good step back. He's actually playing a little close to the ledge there. He probably could have taken a step back and still been in uh, proper medium range. Let's see. I think he's getting used to the idea of Lucina's hitboxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, he waited so long! And no cloud come to save you, because hazard's off. I would have upbeat after the first one. That takes some serious cuts. Because at any point, and he he did, he threw out the hitboxes there, so I was sure he would have gotten sniped by the, uh, is it Slash Cutter? Slash Claw is the back Slash Claw. Got you. 
Z up smash this time because he knew up tilt wouldn't hit even if he could get the turnaround in time. Good follow Speaking up. Of, uh, right. uh, turnaround, those forward airs are turning the. Just, King so, Mark just. The yep. parrying the first hit of uh, Marcina back for. Oh. <laughs> he that does, he so doesn't save him. Silly. He doesn't save him, but he eats a little bit of extra percent, which, when he's giving him trouble like this, that's probably not something you want to do. Ooh, the All spacing, right. the up air wasn't able to apply shield pressure. Yep. Oh. All that right. was a 50 50 basically on whether he would die. <laughs> it's good that he's looking for him. All right. Very nice good. choice of using forward air to grab the uh, metal blade. Yep. And see, Ark was trying to uh, cover his recovery with that, but, but if, you no. can, if you take the projectile out of the setup, then no yeah, set, exactly. No he was relying on Mystery fucking <laughs> messing up. Uh, and relying on a player like Mystery messing up under that kind of pressure is. Um, at this level of play, I think it was a little desperate. Oh, hmm. uh, even then. You know, he, he didn't have oh so many options there. Good tech chase on that one. Even yeah, if he hadn't gone for the neutral get up, it was difficult not to get hit there. What I'm really impressed by is how effectively Mystery e is playing Crash Bomber back against uh, Ark. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of the times it's coming out is at the ledge, and they both happen to be in a ledge get up scenario. Um, so a lot of times he's just rolling into uh, King Ark and giving it to him. All right, very patient. Doesn't bite. Tries to go off stage for the deep fair and doesn't even lose too much of the stage for it either. Turned into very quickly. All right. Oh, he could have up tilted. All right, good setup. Good setup, forcing a high recovery and then covering it with that smash. Yep. That smash or projectile that Mystery can't just grab. Yes. A very simple setup. Uh, cover the low and encourage your person to jump and then catch the jump, but it's effective. Yeah. Now, Mystery can take this if he plays his cards extremely right. All right. I think that was a double switch right there. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, tries to go for the grab. That was actually a really good call at trying to catch him during go. the landing frame. Again, reliably catching these metal blades, shutting down a huge... Uh, a down air will do it. He was ready for it. Well, I mean, that's the secret, right? If you know what will kill you, then you got to be ready for what's going to kill you. You know what I mean? So very difficult situation for Ark here, especially as Rage starts to come on board for E. But uh, any stray hit will end up killing. Uh, like up throw. <laughs> the, more, the Fire Emblem yeet. Yes. A I, string of 2-0 sets. I won. I won. Um, and it's so odd to see so many 2-0s in that uh, all the players that we've been seeing are very strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. King Ark, 